Hi everyone and welcome back to my Halloween craft along series. I can't believe it, this is the last day, day 10 and if you have stayed with us um, all the way from the beginning you would have seen traditional pastel go kitty, gothic movie grunge cute and vintage oh my gosh and then today what I am doing is basically using from my stash some basic basic materials that I think most crafters will have if not can get them extremely cheaply from a pound shop or um, dollar tree anything like that depending on where you live um so yeah so i'm just gonna run through some of the stuff that i have here um so firstly um it's just about ribbon i buy this ribbon from b m and it comes in a large tube full of colors and i've just picked out what is like the halloween -y color so green black purple and orange um, I've got some washi tape, I've got some holographic purple and this lime green. Um, I've got a whole bunch of googly eyes. I get these from the pound shop and they come in a variety of sizes. We've got absolutely large to sort of medium to absolutely tiny. Um... I've also got some punches, so I've got a two inch punch, a one inch circle. I've added in a star, now this might not be something that anyone has, but again, it's something that um, you can pick up at a craft shop or you could draw stars and cut them out. Um, I've got some pom-poms, I've just picked out again, the Halloween colors, I buy these in multiple packs, so, I've got black, orange and green. I've just got some string, some white string. I've got some Sharpies that I've just picked out in orange and black. Um, I've cut out some paper strips. This is just white card. And then I've just gone through my card stock and I've got black, orange, green and I've got like this bluey purple. So these are just bits of scraps that I've got. Um, here's my six by four tag. So I'm just gonna show you now a couple of things that you can make using this stuff before I make the tag. So uh, first thing I'm gonna teach you is uh, how to make a witch's hat. So for this, I'm gonna use my two inch um, circle punch got some black card well it's not even card I think this is like a four sheet paper it's a thicker than paper but and I'm just going to punch a circle and I just need to take a little bit so I'm just taking a roughly a square bit there then what I'm going to do is fold the semicircle in half that and then we'll cut down where we fold okay so you could actually make two witches hats out of one circle and all I do is I just fold some paper to where I want it so that's looking about right here so it's all guesstimated I'm just going to do that and then I want to just have a look again. How tall do I want my hat? About there. So I'm just folding it. Right, so I've created my square that I want. And then to get a triangle, I just fold that in half and I pinch down one end. So I'm pinching that end and then depending on how you cut, cut from the pinch diagonally across and that creates your triangle your triangle then is going to go and stick onto your semicircle so we'll just get some glue right 
like so. Okay. And there we have a witch's hat using a punch. Um, you can add a little bit of ribbon or washi tape to it. So I'm just going to add some ribbon here. Across the front and then I'm just going to pull it up behind. So, oh, my glue gun is just creating so many, so many strings. And there we have it. There is a witch's hat. And obviously you can make it as pointy or anything as you want. Just by using a two inch punch and creating a triangle. Um, these are actually really cool. You can put them on the back of pegs and use them as witches' hats. So that's really cool. I've got glue all over my fingers now. Um, another use of your punches is using the smaller punch. Or you could use the bigger one, but I'm going to show you with the smaller one. You can make a bat. So you'll need two circles. And then with the one of the circles, just again fold that in half. And then using your scissors, you're just going to cut some zigzags. Uh, make sure that you don't go all the way to the line because you do want to create two separate. So once you've done that, you'll end up with two. And then, so you've got the body of the bat and then you'll have the wings. So I'm just gonna quickly glue that on so that you can see better. I'm just making smaller ones because I want to uh, put them onto the tag. So I'm just making everything now. Like so. Oh, silly, silly glue. Okay, and then I'm just going to add some little googly eyes. Make sure I get the right ones. There we go. Ignore all the glue strings, I will pull them off. But there we have a little bat made um, using um, a punch and some googly eyes. If you do have any um, pens, I've got these um, white pens, these white gel pens, or you've got, you can use like the, the gel pens as well. They're really good. You could just add on some fangs like that and there is my little bat using a punch um then other things you could do is hold on i've got a circle somewhere here if you're doing something sort of 3d you could use your um pom-pom so i'm just gonna pop some glue onto the pom pom and stick that down there. I'm just going to add some eyes to this pom pom. I might have chosen quite <laughs> big eyes. Okay, so I've just added some eyes to this pom pom. And then with a black Sharpie or any pen, just going to draw some little legs. And if you draw eight of them, you've created a little 3D spider just with a pom-pom marker and some googly eyes. 
or you don't have to add the googly eyes um other things that you can do um again with your punch if you have some orange card you can just take two punches i'm just going to do this in large like so two punches of orange and then taking one of the circles i'm just going to insert it again and we're trying to create like a crescent so i'm just turning my arm around so you can see there and i'm punching that out so i've created a moon shape which you can still use and then this part here and then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to run around the edge of these um pumpkins with another orange the sharpie just to add a bit of shadow doesn't need to be neat i am far from neat it's just running running around like so then I'm going to take my glue and I'm going to pop that into the centre. And there we've made a punched out pumpkin. So all we need then is some green card. And actually what I'm going to do is punch it with a small punch. And then from that circle, if I cut out the middle part, we've created the stalk so let's stick that on like so and then using the round semicircles I'm just going to cut away the straight edge like so circular and then these are the leaves to the pumpkin There we go. So I'm being really rushy and messy with my hot glue. But there we are. We have um, a pumpkin made from using two different size punches and a sharpie. So um, what else have I got? Okay, so I've just, like I said, cut out some strips of white um, card. Now these are really good for layering up. I'd cut them down but really good for making like bandages. So you could do like a mummy. So you can just have them sort of crisscrossing over. Like so, you know, just layering them all up. Uh, add a couple of googly eyes looking through. Um, all sorts of little things that you can do. So now that I've showed you um, a couple of things that you can do. So I've made a hat, spider, pumpkin and bat. Um, I'm going to go ahead and try and create a tag um, to go with this. So, yeah, so <laughs> I will go get to crafting and then I'll come back and show you the finished tag. Right guys, so I have finished making the final tag using um, things that we made with the punches and the googly eyes and things. So here is the final tag where anything can be turned into Halloween. So take a closer look. Just added some purple and green satin ribbon. Punched out a few stars. Place those googly eyes around those strips of paper. Just popped up the bat and the pumpkin. There's our little 3D spider down there. And this little pumpkin patch. So 
that's turned out fantastic it completely embodies halloween and it just shows that you don't need to buy halloween things to join in on halloween projects um i think it came out more on the theme of kitty um but i'm happy with that so that is my anything can be halloween tag and i thought as this is the last one i'll just bring back the rest of the tags so we can just remember what we did make and the first one was halloween the traditional style so there was that one then we did pastel and we added a shaker to this one with all them pastel colours. Then we did um, gore and you can see the blood has now dried. It's still pretty gory. And here is the kiddie one. See what I mean by this one? It's kind of on the similar path using traditional colours you know can still be scary but cartoony and then we have the gothic tag which is very different i love this one love the flowers and the lace and the deep deep colors then we did um movie awesome and then we did the grunge tag then we did our cute tag using doodle bug and then we did the vintage tag So hopefully this series has helped anybody in their Halloween crafting and they can take on uh, what, what I've sort of suggested. Like I said, this is literally no. all what uh, my interpretation of these themes are. They're no means set in stone. I think the main part of any sort of crafting is just to have fun and enjoy what you're doing. So guys, I just want to give you a little reminder that I do have a birthday giveaway and it is Halloween theme. So again, there's lots of options you can choose from if you're struggling. Um, it's open till October 24th and please, please join in. It's been so fun and I've absolutely loved everything that I've received so far. Um, everyone has been amazing and we have had crafters who claim to not like Halloween take part so it is for everyone all right guys thank you so much for watching thank you so much for following this series uh take care everyone bye